What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to present you 15 essential tweaks to have on your iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.2.x jailbroken device with the Electrum. And I'm going to start with the first one, which is Apps Manager. Now, this one in here is a very, very interesting tweak. And if you have used files in the past, you have used a program made by Taiji Software, which made this one in here, which is Apps Manager. Now, what this does? Well, this allows you to pretty much see all installed applications in my case it's only Electrum and of course by installed I mean applications coming from either the App Store or side loaded with CD Impactor and of course the stock applications are not shown so when you go ahead in here for example for this application it will show you the version last modification disk usage the bundle the data and you can actually back up the data for the application for example if you have a game or an application for which you want to save the data before you pretty much erase it or do something else you press backup in here backup electro data and there you go so if you have for example a game for which you want to save the uh, save game you can do so and you can restore it right away you can see in here my saves in here and i can restore them right away and then you can also wipe the data of the application by doing this so you pretty much cleared it back to default this is very useful when you want to save your save games or when you want to save your caches from your applications and so on the next one in line is force in picture which allows you to use the force in picture mode on safari which should have been part of the ios in the first place but for some bizarre reason it's still not so if i I want to watch a video in here for example here's one of my videos I press the uh, picture button here and it will automatically drop and I can pretty much go ahead and you know continue watching the video with this window in here and then do whatever I want to do in here maybe I don't know uh, do something else in another application or you know resize this and do stuff like that press play or I can even close it if I don't want to watch anymore without having to deal with Safari again as I said this should have been something in the iOS itself but for some bizarre reason it's not the next one in line is sugarcane which is pretty much a tweak for this in here which is the uh, you know control center and this tweak allows you to get the percentages of the brightness and the volume right in here as you can see I have them both in here and if I go ahead in here I can modify this and you know go up for example or go down and it will show up in there as well and I can pretty much modify them to um, show me exactly the percentage which is something good Apple should have done that in the first place but they did not for some bizarre reason next one in line is a tweak for the settings panel in here and this one is actually called the pull terry spring and it's very useful if you go ahead in here at top and you pull down a little bit like this I'm not going to do it because it will respring it will respring automatically your device this is something very useful because sometimes you get icons that are stuck and they are not going away even if you uninstall an application or CDI is not showing up and stuff like that so when that happens you just go ahead in here pull down and it will respring pretty much clearing up the caches and so on for the springboard which is again something very very useful another tweak on the line is adaptive color alerts and this one is pretty much changing the white background of the alerts let me show you actually if I go ahead in here and press on the X button I'm going to get an alert so I'm going to do it and as you can see the colors are not the original this one has a rainbowish color which is some sort of alpha gradient and of course as you can see it's changed and and the reason for that is the uh, adaptive color alert the next one in line is emoji keys and this one actually adds an emoji icon on your keyboard as you can see in here I have the emoji one which brings me directly to the emojis with the frequently used and then of course the entire catalog which is very useful if you're using a lot of emojis next one of course is notched and yes I do have the iPhone 10 notch on the top of the device without being an iPhone 10 this is actually an iPod touch 6th generation and yes it does persist on all the applications for some bizarre reason these are the settings for the uh, thing you can also have the rounded corners but it doesn't look okay on this particular device and then of course you have the applications for which to hide the notch for example if I don't want it to run on the App Store or on CDM or on YouTube I can simply disable that boy I wish the iPhone 10 would have that kind of button but anyways yeah if you want to simulate the notch on a non iPhone 10 device you can do so with notched so yeah the next one in line is TSS saver and I cannot stress enough how important this one is 
This one, of course, can be downloaded from Cydia, and DSS Saver itself allows you to pretty much dump your blobs directly from your device and save your blobs for future downgrade. It automatically fetches the information about your device, like the ACID, board configuration, and the device model, and all you have to do is to press save blobs in there, and using the information it pulled from the device, like these in here, ACID and so on, it will automatically save the blobs for you. Now, please keep in mind that you cannot do a lot of saves. You can only do that uh, once a day or twice a day. Other than that, it will give you errors that you're doing it too much. But it's enough to save the blobs for the current version. So a very, very useful tweak indeed. The next one on the line is this one that you have been seeing from the beginning of the video. It's called Boxy3 and it allows you to reposition all the icons on your home screen and it has a very very interesting way of doing that. So if I swipe up in here it's going to reveal this in here which at some point becomes transparent if I hold one of the slides in here and it allows me to pretty much move all my stuff in there and to create bigger gaps and so on. I'm going to show you. I can uh, you know move these and make bigger gaps and smaller gaps and so on. It does look pretty nice, but of course it's a balancing act in order to get them to you know be straight and be on center. But once you get them, they do look very nice. Anyways, I didn't get them to, to work pretty fine in there, but you got the idea. Next one is New Term 2. Now, this one is a new terminal emulator for the iOS, so you can actually run any command you want. And you can run exactly the commands that you need. For example, UI cache, you name and you know you can run scripts and so on. This is very useful if you do not have a computer to run the SSH commands to fix Cydia or to you know remove Electra and so on. This kind of uh, terminal should not be missing from your device. It can be very very useful when you want to fix something very quickly but you do not have access to Cydia anymore. So I definitely recommend to install this one in FileZa and have them somewhere on your phone for when everything breaks. So this is something very good and it's an essential tweak. The next one in line is Flame. Flame allows you to customize a little bit Cydia so that you can go to a different page when Cydia opens. In my case, I modified it to go directly to this, which is pretty much the installed one, instead of going to, for example, home. And there is also this important button here, the folder button, which allows me to export my tweaks list and my sources or both so that I can pretty much go ahead on a different jailbroken device and copy my tweaks over and my sources, which is of course very useful because I don't have to, you know, manually find them and, you know, go through them manually and, you know, reinstall them. This is something very, very useful, at least in my opinion, and I definitely recommend you to get it, especially if you have more than one device. Next one in line is Aerify, but I cannot show you this one due to the fact that I'm recording with the uh, quick time and I cannot change the sound but this one actually changes the HUD for the volume to look like that one on the top which pretty much is better because it's not full screen it's not you know occupying a lot of the screen it's very very thin in there and it's easy to use the next one is CC clean modules BG which pretty much removes the uh, background from the uh, control center and it looks like this blurred with all that kind of stuff but without the uh, separators for each individual controls so this is actually interesting but I don't like it this way I think I like the stock one actually better the next one in line is Safari Plus and this one does quite a lot of stuff actually you have the general in here and under general you have fourth HTTPS you have um, you know open in new tab option but the most important one is on the downloads in here which is enhanced downloads it allows you to download mp3 files and other kind of files directly to your device and you can actually view them in files and there is also a button to see the pending downloads and the finished downloads exactly as on Chrome which is actually very good especially since Apple devices do not do that by default and the last one is nice notes and this one is actually a tweak for the notes application and it makes them completely dark and you can actually change the colors of the buttons from lime green to anything you want and of course it looks pretty interesting especially if you want to have a dark theme on this application this is pretty much it guys these are 15 essential tweaks that you should have on your device i'm geostow until next time do not forget to subscribe to stay updated 